Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Sanchari. I am in Siam Reap, Cambodia. So I'm visiting all these temple complexes, the beautiful ruins in the world and so blissful and happy to visit these things. So I'm not making videos or uh, any vlog on each and every temple I'm visiting because there are a lot. I want to give some of the tips and uh, details about the anchor um, what and the anchor thumb, the ancient city of uh, Khmer Empire. So let's start, let's begin with why do you want to visit Cambodia? First thing, there's a lot of things in Cambodia. Currently, Cambodia is ruled by monarch. There are palaces in Phnom Penh and even in Siam Reap. I directly came to Siam Reap. I did not visit Phnom Penh yet, but I'm going to visit. So, why in Siam Reap uh, do you want to visit and do you want to make a trip? It's a good question. If you are really interested to see the beautiful ruins of the temple one thing and if you want to visit a large temple complex which is Angkor Wat that is the largest religious monument in the world and that is beautiful <clears throat> so there is beautiful history behind this there was an empire called uh, Khmer Empire in back in uh, 8th 9th 10th 11th 12th, 13th centuries. After that, they disappeared. It's a mystery why they disappeared. <coughs> so, many, many years, these temples was abundant. So, why these temples was ab abundant was a mystery again. The way, why the empire was disappeared. And then, a lot of uh, historians, they start researching on these things and they came up with many claims. So one among those climb is a natural disaster, monsoon, drought, and uh, the city was not, uh, you know, built uh, enough, uh, and the system, water system, or the, you know, the system in the city was not, uh, you know, built uh, pretty good enough to, um, you know, sustain the natural disaster. That was one reason they climb, and another reason is Ayutthaya from thailand so ayutthaya empire even in the vietnam i saw uh, they have acquired a lot many parts of uh, uh, you know vietnam and uh, cambodia so they ruled uh, many many parts and they did a lot of wars and king of khmer, uh, khmer empire um, he lost the war against ayutthaya after that they say this temple was abandoned <coughs> because of the ignorance so before even that let us go back to the history in 12th century so Angkor Wat was built in 12th century that was the region um, you know uh, before the Angkor Thom Angkor Thom was a new city built in the you know uh, 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 12th century again 12th and you know later part of 12th century so in, in Angkor Thom or Angkor Wat, that they initially they built it for, built it as a Hindu temple with the concept of Vaishnavas. So the Vishnu was the main god, and if I see Angkor Thom, it was like uh, you know uh, Mount Meru. Uh, they have recreated the center of the universe, like uh, um, uh, Brahma, Vishnu, and Maheshwara. All these three uh, gods and many goddesses. You can see, I see uh, you know. Um, Mahabharata uh, carvings each episode of Mahabharata 18 episodes of Mahabharata carvings in the wall of Angkor Wat Angkor Wat is a very huge complex and uh, you cannot see, finish it in a day I went for two days and uh, you know half a day half a day like that I, I could not finish because uh, visiting all the walls um, and visiting uh, if, if you really want to uh, see each and every part of Angkor Wat it takes a lot and lot of time um, but I don't have that much time so I did not uh, you know um, <coughs> uh, afford to visit for so so many long time and I'm sure that I'm not interested in you know so much of a history I'm, I'm more of interested in a life uh, uh, the uh, 
in a uh, current uh, you know, situation. So I, I really don't want to visit, uh, make my days for 10 days or 15 days like that to just, just to ch take, uh, check one temple. So, but initially it was built to, uh, built based on the concept of Hinduism, myths of Hinduism. Later, uh, historians claim that um, when uh, the king has been defeated from Ayutthaya, he lost belief in the Hindu gods. So uh, he, he thought that the gods did not serve him well. And then at the same time, uh, Buddhism was uh, spreading across the uh, places and specifically in these kind of places, in these uh, areas. So he was very much influ influenced by uh, concepts of Buddhism. So later, King starts, uh, you know, um, modifying all the statues in the temple uh, based on the concepts of Buddhism. So indeed, Buddhism is influenced by Hinduism. Uh, you know, um, he, uh, I mean, I, I could see a lot of Vishnu uh, statues has been uh, modified as uh, Buddha later on because Buddha sitting on the uh, snake of uh, <coughs> seven uh, headed snake and uh, the Buddha sleeping on the snake. So initially those were carved as a Vishnu statues and then later converted into Buddha statue. Okay, so but Apsaras dancing all around Buddha and uh, 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 Shiva overlooking Buddha. So these kind of things like initially they started as uh, Hindu, uh, you know, concepts of Hinduism, ancient, ancient Hinduism. And then later they converted as Buddhism. So I don't want to judge any religion here. Okay, so I'm just explaining the history. So I really don't want to, um, you know, uh, get into a lot of history. But I, I will, sh I will, I'll tell you how to travel in Cambodia. I will just give some tips because uh, <clears throat> uh, that's very important. Cambodia is very easy to travel. So uh, from India, flight ticket to Cambodia was uh, pretty cheaper. I, uh, you know, uh, for when I, when I was checking. For Nam Pen, it was uh, pretty much cheaper, and for Siam Reap directly to uh, fly, it was a bit expensive. Um, I actually traveled from Vietnam to Siam Reap directly by road. I have made another video on that. Uh, hi, and so, but um, so this is uh, Cambodia is very easy to uh, travel, <coughs> and then so how to travel in Cambodia? It's easy again. You get tuk-tuk everywhere. There are tuk-tuks. You have to. Uh, you, you you will get it in a cheaper price. Mostly, there are a lot of places to stay in uh, uh, Siam Reap, which is almost six kilometers from the ancient city Angkor Thom or Angkor Wat Temple. So, with all these like uh, uh you know um, how, how about the food i i am a vegetarian i am getting really vegetarian food in cambodia and uh, they have a very nice curry they have uh, beautiful and beautiful restaurants all around the city uh they have i mean you, sh you should go to the cambodian restaurant they give you really nice coconut milk sorry coconut um uh a uh, smoothie, uh, coconut shake, uh, that's very tasty. I heard even in Thailand, they give the coconut smoothies. Uh, that's pretty uh, pretty good. And then, um, what to take care of? So that is very important. One thing, it's very hot. In Cambodia, I came in the uh, beginning of the September, it is too hot. Okay, and then when you're visiting visiting temples, you need to cover your feet, you need to cover your shoulders. So wear the full uh, cloths, uh, you know, don't come with a short or sleeveless. They don't allow you inside the temple. <coughs> and um, stay. Stay is pretty cheaper. I'm staying in a hostel, which is which has quite good facilities. They have the rooftop swimming pool with the restaurant where yesterday I watched the sunset. It was very beautiful. I just got that in 600 rupees, that Indian rupees, within $10. <coughs> so $9.99 or $10. Mm -hmm. 
you get a very beautiful hostel okay and they have the private rooms as well that will cost you more and then so <coughs> next question uh apart from angkor wat what else is there in um, siam reap siam reap has a huge complex of temples i'm standing in one of the temple which is very very huge i am walking more than uh, uh, <clears throat> 3 kilometers 4 kilometers every day just within the temple okay i'll come to the entrance by tuk tuk and in the temple complex that too i'm not seeing each and everything if i just have to walk from one end to another and go i'm able to visit one or two temples a day which is t- which is more than 3 to 4 kilometers <coughs> and you see these kind of beautiful uh, uh, tree uh, especially thapram uh, temple which i visited yesterday uh, which is also appeared in a hollywood movie that has these trees um you know all uh, most of the temple has covered with uh, these kind of ancient trees if you see so this is nothing and then uh, so <coughs> that that shows that these temple has these temples has been abandoned for a long long time for centuries under water on top of that forest has been built so can you can imagine how long this these must have been abandoned okay so uh so people think that these temples appeared suddenly in the jungle no nothing like that maybe for several years um uh, the administration has been ignored this place after uh, 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 the empire got disappeared or they destroyed they've been destroyed from ayutthaya or whatever so people left this place and then uh, maybe because uh, you know because of the drought and the natural disaster as well they left this place and then these temples has been abandoned and this is the huge uh, city with complex of these temples angkor wat is just one temple thapram is another temple so like this they have many temples the two big temples which you need to walk for kilometers to visit one so you can imagine what kind of temples are these and how big are these but most of them are ruined that is there if you are interested in, uh, interested in seeing beautiful ruins then you, you must visit these temples okay and then so <coughs> what else to expect in in this city there is a night, night life of course in siam reap uh, which i didn't plan to go and they say specifically apsara dancing yesterday when i was uh, you know discussing so i i see people dressing up like apsara and uh, characters of uh, uh, hindu mythology and uh, they appear for photos with people and the dancing uh, uh, so they give some cultural events uh, so these things will be there in most of the uh restaurants for free so but you have to pay for the food more these dancers dancing is free not like pubs and bars but in the actual restaurants uh, <clears throat> they have some cultural events like this <clears throat> however lot and lot of conservation work and archaeological survey happen in this um, you know ancient city uh, so uh this is according to me this is one of the must places for every traveler to visit and uh, this is the nicest ruins i ever found except hampi uh, hampi is near my place that is also a beautiful ruin i liked uh if you like my channel so far uh subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon thank you so much for watching